Hey YouTube, your favorite YouTuber here, Impress48 is here. Welcome back to another episode of Diecast Comparison 164. I believe this is the eighth episode of doing this series. As of the time of making of this video, it is almost February, but you will see this video somewhere around March. So yes, just to let you guys know, if, in case if you guys don't remember or don't know, all of my 164 comparison episodes are pre-recorded and are still uploaded every Mondays. So with that being said, let's begin. So I've been looking at these diecasts for a while, and of course, you know how the series goes. I compare, like what's so different, what's so similar about the scheme. But do you guys remember the time when Spin Master used to make NASCAR diecasts? And before NASCAR Authentics went to Lionel, it was on Spin Master. And let's see what we got. And this is, first up, this is Denny Hamlin's 2011 FedEx Express Toyota Camry from Joe Gibbs Racing. This is their 20th year. And yes, this is beat up because uh, I kept dropping them. There were times I played with them. Little 360 here. And then, actually, this is like one of the, uh, one of the, Four NASCAR Authentics uh, Spin Master diecasts I've ever gotten as a fifth grade graduation present, alongside with Jimmy Johnson's 2011 Cobalt Tools, Joe Logano's 2011 Home Depot, and Dale Jr.'s 2011 Amp Energy. Those are my first four NASCAR Authentics diecasts I've ever gotten from Toys R Us. Anyway, and here we got. Denny Hamlin's 2013 FedEx Express Toyota Camry, of course, and Joe Gibbs. And I remember getting this on Target. And I know it was like this, the day of the 2014 Indianapolis Grand Prix and the night of the Kansas race. I remember doing a diecast review originally on the 2013 version during the Kansas race where Jeff Gordon won. Oh, good times. I miss my channel. I miss my original channel. Anyway, here we go. So let's see. So this is the 2011 version. All right, of course. Um, yeah, I know it's beat up. Excuse me. Um, there's a Toyota logo, American Ethanol, Coca-Cola, number 11. And you got the small sponsors. You got Mac Tool, Sherwin, Sherwin Williams. Uh, Frightliner and the other logo I can't tell. Here are the 2011 contingency sponsors. Hey, remember when DirecTV sponsored NASCAR? Good times. And here is the FedEx Express logo on the hood. Got the Toyota Camry, got Camry, got the 11 on headlights, and the 20th anniversary Joe Gibbs Racing logo. Same side as the left, except that it is not very messy. Got FedEx.com Toyota. 11 on the tailgate you got number 11 on the roof and you got fedex express on a deck lid now here is the cleaner version of denny's fedex express 2013 and actually fun fact i got to see this paint scheme win i got to see hamlin win at this paint scheme at homestead 2013 and then johnson won the 2013 championship oh back when nascar was fun Anyway, so here we got FedEx Express, American Ethanol, Toyota logo. I honestly like the manufacturer logos on the window. I like that. Got Coca-Cola once again. Denny Hamill Signature, number 11. You got Frightliner, Sherwin-Williams, or Sherman-Williams, I don't fucking know. Uh, Mac Tools, other logo. And you got the 2013 Contingencies, but with less logos. I wonder why. You got FedEx Express on the hood. You got uh, Toyota logo. Got Camry. Got Lovin. Joe is racing. Same side as the left. FedEx.com. Oh, man, I got to put a uh, black marker on this. Uh, got Toyota logo. Joe is racing. Number 11. Toyota logo. Number 11. FedEx Express. And FedEx Express on the deck lid. Besides, like, the amount of contingencies they had, uh, two-year difference, it is very, very similar. 
Now let's do a 360 on both of these beauties. And yep, very, very similar most of the time. They're almost very similar. What do I mean by that? It just depends on logos and all that stuff. So if I were to pick between like the 2011 and the 2013 version, I have no clue because honestly, I, this was like one of my favorite uh, Denny Hamlin FedEx paint schemes. It lasted from 2011 through 2014, and um, and I I like this paint scheme. Honestly, I don't know like which one's better. Diecast wise, I would go with the 2013 version because, of course, I took better care of this paint scheme than the 2011 version. What happened here was that, like, I was washing a bunch of die casts, and I used dish soap, yeah, some stuff with some die casts came off, and yeah. If you're gonna clean your die casts, if you wanna wash them, don't use dish soap. Um, so yeah. But, I, I just like the designing of this paint scheme better on the Gen 5 version, Spin Master Wise. So, I don't know, it's a tie. But how about you folks watching this video? What do you got? Which which one do you... Fuck, I can't even speak English for crap. Anyway. Which version of his FedEx Express you prefer? You guys prefer better? The 2011 version or the 2013 version? There we go. Yes, I can speak English. Anyway, so with that being said, tell me in the comments below... And I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Co comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts in the link in the description below. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notification bell for more content. Thank you all for supporting E Nation. This is Ian Press 48 signing off. Thank you all for watching.